Hi, this is Zenny Bar, and I'm here to teach about PBR materials. Today I'm going to tell you the difference between PBR materials and PBR overrides. There is a very important distinction between them that can make the difference between your build looking awesome and looking like a mangled mess. So, what is a PBR material? It is the PBR material asset itself. This is the base material. It holds all the information for the material, such as the base color, the metallic roughness, the normals, the emissives, and all of the parameters on the sign, as well as double-sided. To apply materials, you can either drag and drop onto the face, or you can drag and drop into the swatch when you are in PBR metallic roughness mode. Now, a PBR material is sent to the viewer as a packet that, under normal circumstances, can never be lost. In fact, if it ever gets lost, you might want to run around and panic because that means the asset server has uh, gone pear-shaped. Now, a PBO, PBR override is kind of what it means. Let's say let's put a blank material on here. And let's go to Edit Selected. And let's start just adding the corrugated metal uh, textures onto it, like so. Now it looks pretty similar, but there's a very important distinction. These that I just did, those are overrides. PBR overrides override the base materials parameters. This means any of these parameters can be an override. And all of these parameters can also be an override. So. And as you can see in this little window right here, it's not showing the corrugated metal like if I were to go over to here. It's showing a blank material. This is important. The kind of packet that a PBR override is, is prone to failure on lower end connections. It is also a very large packet to the point that if a object is made up entirely of full overrides, which is all of these being changed from the base material, including these, it can end up using a huge amount of network traffic to send those overrides. Likewise, if those packets get lost, instead of looking like corrugated metal, what it will actually look like is this, because this is the base material that you've overridden. My best advice is to try to avoid PBR overrides as much as possible. The only overrides you should be using are the texture transforms if you can help it. Color is probably fine, but I would just try to avoid as many as possible. It is nearly cheap and free to just make a whole new material and apply it. Like if I were to just go here, edit, turn it red, Instead of leaving it like that, it's better just to save to inventory. Red corrugated. It's better just save to your inventory and then reapply it. That way, if for some reason an internet connection of a friend or yourself just has a bad day, instead of being the wrong color, a yellow corrugated, you instead have a red corrugated like this. I hope that has helped you understand the difference between materials and overrides, and I hope you've learned something today. Uh, Zanibar signing off.